Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, what clarity and guidance? What love messages do we have here today for my Virgos, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, clarity, guidance, love messages holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for my virgos please oh did i say virgos taurus <laughs> i just got done doing virgo reading i'm not gonna lie i'm sorry holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for my taurus please clarity guidance love messages for my taurus please clarity guidance love messages for my taurus please sun moon rising and venus signs please holy spirit angel spirits and guides all right my loves we are going to do a you versus that wow okay so we have Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Nine of Wands. And we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre Empress Energy, the Justice card, Libra Energy, and we have the Five of Swords. So Taurus, on this side, so there's either a water sign here, Taurus, that is really tired or being very defensive, or it could be that this side, there's someone who emotionally is very exhausted. Someone here had to make some form of a decision and it caused a huge imbalance in this connection. It could also be that someone here is very tired emotionally of the unequal give and take. Someone's tired of being breadcrumbed and they're cutting this off, okay? Someone here is realizing that somebody, you know, maybe is all about themselves because with the nine of pentacles it's a very single independent energy um so you have to understand that pre empress energy you know this person is like this because they only worry about what's best for them do you see what i'm saying the nine of pentacles <coughs> pre empress energy is a beautiful energy but this is someone that's focused on their money focused on their looks focused on their life focused on just them at the moment okay and with the Justice card and the Five of Swords, someone here feels like, you know, someone here maybe feels like, listen, it's a little unfair. You know, this person is just focused on whatever they need to do for their life. So there's no, someone maybe feels like there's no room for me in your life. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and with the Five of Swords energy, it can turn into a little bit of mind games. It can turn into, um, so I feel like on this side, someone's emotionally exhausted because they feel like, they feel like there's mind games because someone's so independent. Like this person is just focused on their life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So one person maybe wants a relationship, wants to kind of come together, but we have the other person that is maybe just very independent and this person feels like you know maybe they should just give up maybe they should just walk away so let's see tell me about this queen of cups ace of pentacles nine of wands and the magician i feel like maybe something started up here again maybe somebody offered something to this queen of cups maybe you know there was promises made here but with the nine of wands and the magician it ended up maybe just being manipulation six of pentacles and the eight of swords the two of swords and the empress aries taurus energy so now look we've got the pre-empress to the empress and the two of swords so maybe this empress energy had to choose between two people and you know whoever's on this side got caught up in a third party situation okay and i feel like this empress energy is just maybe cutting everybody off and just wanting to be single 
Yeah, two of wands. I feel like this pre-empress is like, you know what? I don't want anybody <laughs> to trust this card. And uh, temperance. Yeah, someone here feels like they just want peace. Five of swords and the ace of wands. I feel, Taurus, that for whoever's on this side, um, they got themselves caught up with somebody that maybe was committed elsewhere. <coughs> and just decided that they don't want you they don't want the the other person they they just want peace do you understand um so i feel like for whoever's on this side they're like you know what i'm just going to walk away and start talking to someone else i'm just going to walk away and go start a new beginning elsewhere okay because nothing is happening in this connection let's see here spirit what clarity guidance what love messages do we have here for my taurus please clarity guidance and love messages for my tauruses so we've got the page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy and we have the emperor aries energy taurus energy the chariot cancerian energy and the devil capricorn energy the death card scorpionic energy and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, and the Five of Pentacles. So for whoever's on this side, let me just explain something to you. This person, yeah, see, we've got the, um, the Knight of Wands under the deck. So this person here maybe has a child with somebody possibly, um, or this person, you know, <clears throat> hold on one moment here. I feel like this person... We've got the emperor to the empress. Taurus, we've got someone here that's either married. We have someone that's in a higher level of commitment. Okay. Now, Taurus, you may be in the higher level of commitment and there's a third party that's ready to walk away because there's too many games being played because your person maybe isn't willing to leave you for them. So you have to take this how this resonates. Okay. What we have here is someone who's in a higher level of commitment. And I feel like we have a third party energy here who has been waiting for somebody to make a decision. Okay. And what's happening here is with the chariot and the devil, this person always chooses this emperor. Now this emperor, this may be a toxic relationship. Usually the emperor and the empress is not toxic. It's a power couple. It's divine feminine and divine masculine. Okay. Um, Maybe they're fighting. I don't know. Maybe this person comes to the third party and talks about, you know, a bunch of garbage about how they're fighting and all this other stuff. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and with the death card and the magician, I feel like this empress energy, and it could be a man too. We don't read, we don't read gender here. I feel like this person goes to the third party and says, oh, I can't take them anymore. I can't stand them anymore. I'm leaving them. I don't want to be with them. So, the third party keeps waiting for that to happen, but see, then they just kind of disappear and go back to their emperor. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like one of those things where this empress maybe is like venting and yelling and screaming and all this other stuff, but then it seems like they always make the wrong choice and go back. So we've got the strength card, Leo energy, on the page of pentacles, and the emperor, and the moon. So you see, I feel like, I feel like when this empress stops talking to the emperor, okay, because they get into a fight or they get into an argument or whatever, then they go to the third party. So we've got the hanged man and the chariot, the devil, and the five of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody here has been, um... I feel like someone tends to be very on and off. These two can be twin flames, the emperor and the empress, to be honest with you. Um, they could be twin flames. So it's very rocky, I'm feeling, between this emperor and this empress. And what happens is when that connection gets put on hold, like when they fight, um, you know, someone here comes in and talks to a third party. Now, Taurus, I don't know if you're part of this twin flame connection or if you're just the third party that's stuck in the middle of all this craziness. You see what I'm saying? But someone comes in and says, oh, screw them. I'm leaving them. The death card with the three of swords. 
the magician, and the queen of wands. So you see, you have to understand here that somebody um, is just basically talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Someone here is just basic. You know, you're going to come, you know, someone here, they, they come from a place where they talk when they're hurt. Do you understand? They're talking from a lot of heartache, okay? Um, and I feel like this person, they're, they're very, you know, the Queen of Wands is a very beautiful energy, okay? Someone who's very beautiful, someone who's very convincing, okay? So, you know, I feel like this person is very, you know, sought after, very beautiful, very, it's very quick to be like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus, they're leaving their person, you know, and they can be all mine now, you know? But that's not the case because then they disappear, you know, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There's that Queen of Cups energy again. But then this 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 Queen of Cups energy just disappears because they go back to their emperor. So someone just kind of dips in to talk crap on their person, and then they take dip by like they vent. Someone here is just venting. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let's see what the challenge here is, Taurus. What is the challenge here? So we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you see, okay, how can I put this? This King, this Emperor, and this Empress, they have their Ten Cups in a row. They have their Ducks in a row. They have a successful connection. They work well together, but everybody fights every so often everybody fights okay and i feel that what happens is when someone here gets into an argument when this emperor and this empress fight one person goes off to a third party which i feel may be you taurus and you know just vents they vent and you know someone gets stuck in their head thinking that okay great this is my big shot do you understand? This is my big shot. Um, but see, this person is only dipping in because they're overwhelmed at the moment. You know what I'm saying? They're overwhelmed. They're upset. They're yelling. They're screaming. You understand what I'm saying? Um, this blockage is only temporary. This blockage is only temporary because this emperor and this emperor are going to come back together again and they will pull away from you. Okay? So... You know, this may not be a full-blown, quote-unquote, third-party situation. Taurus, this just may be a friend of yours that you are, you know, crushing on or something like that. And, you know, you're just kind of waiting for this emperor and this empress to kind of disconnect because you're, like, sitting there like, but the relationship is so bad that, you know, they have to break apart eventually and then I'll get my big shot. You see what I'm saying? Um but that's not the case. This emperor and this empress have their shit together. You know what I'm saying? They have it together. And that's the challenge. That's what we don't want to see. We don't want to see that they have their ducks in a row. We don't want to see that the connection is successful. You're not going to see that because this person probably never tells you that. They only come to you when they want to vent. Okay. Now, Taurus, keep in mind that you may be the emperor or the empress. You may be in that whacked out relationship and someone here goes to a friend or a family member or something like that and, you know, vents. And there's someone here that gets excited thinking that, wow, this is it. They're, they're going to come apart. You know what I'm saying? But they, it never does. It never does come apart. What is the outcome here? We've got the moon, Cancer, Piscean energy. We have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Tower. See, someone here, the outcome here is that someone has this illusion that, you know, they're going to have this new beginning in love. They get this hope up that there's, that they can, you know, okay, great, I could be with this person now. And then their hopes get shattered. Okay. And then their hopes get shattered. Um, which isn't healthy. So someone needs to start seeing the truth for what it is. Okay. We've got deserving and milestone. All right. I feel like someone's in this energy of, I can get, if you just come with me and commit to me, I can give you the love that you deserve. Okay. Decrease and commitment, but that you have to stop. Someone here has to stop thinking that way because they're not your person. There's no commitment here. There's no relationship here. Do you understand? So Taurus, if you are this third party, I'm sorry if this sounds harsh, but this is not your person. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, there, there's no commitment here. This person's always going to walk away from you to go back to their person, even though you may feel like this is my person and I can treat them better. 
and Taurus again from you know what I'm saying again you may be the Emperor and the Empress and if you're worried that you know you, you or your person Taurus, you may be, let's say, the empress and have a friend that you go and vent to, and that's how this person feels. Like, they want a shot with you and that they can treat you better. So we've got attachment, door to value, and six chakra, right? So what we have here is somebody that is... Um, I feel like developing a crush or developing a very negative attachment, okay, to valuing something that is not theirs. Placing too much value on something that is not theirs. And I feel like someone here needs to start using their intuition. Um, so if you're a cross watcher, let's just say for a Taurus, maybe, you know, I, I feel like someone here needs to start waking up and seeing the truth for what it is. Um, I feel like one person needs to use their intuition and realize that this will never turn into a commitment because it's not your person. Okay. That's for the person that has this hope. Um, now, for the emperor and the empress, if you fall into that category, uh, realize that this is unhealthy. Someone here is starting to really, like, put too much value in somebody who's already committed. And I feel like if your intuition is telling you, if you're the empress or the emperor and you go to a friend and vent, and your intuition, you get that feeling that this person gets excited that you may leave your husband or wife or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, like they want a shot with you, don't do that anymore because you're messing with this person's head, okay? We have here let go of control issues and healing family issues. Yeah, you see, you guys may fight. You guys, you know, the, this emperor and this empress may fight they may stand their ground for a little bit, but in the end, they always heal the situation. In the end, it always comes back together, okay? So someone here, every time there's a fight or an argument, has this hope that, that they have the, they're going to be able to shoot their shot now. Um, but that's not this case. This emperor and this empress are never going to leave each other, okay? All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye!